it did remind one of our uh, listeners, a uh, senior he ass. Not senior. Sure, not sure. <laughs> senior he ass. Not sure if that's his real name. <laughs> uh, but he sent and contacted me and said it reminded him this of um, our point that, uh, and I think this was after we found out a bunch of stuff about jockeys doing uh, various oh, was this when the, race fixing and various yeah, things, I think. Or was it when they got really pissed at Warrnambool? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And we mentioned that, I mentioned at the time, that one of the things when we discussed mm. is one of the things that they should really investigate yeah. is having monkeys as jockeys. Yes. Far cheaper. Yes. Yeah. Work for More peanuts. reliable. They, <laughs> More don't, reliable. they don't get Norwegian girlfriends. No, 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 they don't ever. <laughs> anyway. Monkey he, jockeys. Is, he oh, he sent idea. me a thing reminding, uh, he found online, um, and I looked into this, and I've, I've got a bit from the article here, which I think uh, you're going to like, yeah. which is about um, the fact that there was, back in the 1930s, quite commonly, monkey jockeys yeah. riding uh, greyhound Greyhounds. Monkeys on greyhounds. Yeah. Oh, now you're talking. Uh, and so I read a bit of this article, and this article is terrific. Now, apparently it happened around the world a bit. It happened in Australia even, and, but it yeah. happened a lot in the US. And it was actually the brainchild of one couple, uh, yeah. Loretta and Charles David. And they had um, this venture, which was a huge success of racing these. And basically it was so popular back in the 30s that every single racetrack in America right. was happy to have them. Was the, the monk, wanted them to monkeys come and race. riding greyhounds. Yeah, because it was so popular with the crowd that oh, it'd it was be hilarious. So, what they learned, they a couple of things they learned is one, um, it took them. They said that if they'd known all of them how much work and time and training that would be involved in getting it to happen, they might never have done it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what they found was that the secret to actually, and this is, I think this is important if you mm. ever want to, you know, because I I think this needs to come back. Oh, I'd love to see this. I mean, there'll be a lot of types out there that will point out that this is, like, against everything around oh, animal sure, sure, you know, humane treatment. May not, yeah. But could, couldn't you imagine but it sometimes you have to trade before off before the grand final? You know? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes you have to trade off inhumane things yeah. for, for comedy gold. Yes. For, for human entertainment. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, you know, so here, so they said the secret, Surgeon, you and I need to know this if we're going to start this, is the secret if you want to race if you want to have monkey jockeys, yes. they said, is you have to raise the monkeys and the greyhounds together from birth right. so that the animals overcome their natural animosity towards <laughs> each other. <laughs> so that's point one. Okay. But I thought greyhounds were supposed to be so gentle. No, but no. Not with, not with, not with, not, I think it's what the monkeys. monkeys are quite aggressive too. So they, one, they needed to do that. Um They also said that one of the interesting things travelling in America that they learned, and you wonder what they learned, but... The monkeys hate the cold, so right. they had to do the. They did the northern states in their summer, and then yeah. when it got to winter, they went down to down Florida to and yeah. stuff to do it because otherwise the monkeys. And they said they had to always have uh, lots of bananas in their trailer, like <laughs> constantly. But it said that one of the things, and this is about whether it works. It said the monkeys proved so competitive that they would sometimes get carried away and try to prevent a rival from winning by either jumping onto his back. Or tearing the clothes off him as he passed. Right. They also used their tails as whips to try to make the greyhounds run faster. Oh, look! Everything about that just says bring back monkey jockeys. It to just me. does. I mean, uh, but, but they used to wear their own like little silks. Yeah. How tiny would monkey silks oh, be? Oh, be ter- and, Jockey silks themselves are small. And I enough. love the will to win. Yes. They were that competitive. They were that competitive. You know, they could teach Nick Curry or something. <laughs> and, and, and I think again, the chief steward was Galen from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it was popular in the United States, but there are also monkey races were known to exist in both Australia and Mexico. There, look, I know there is one very grainy photo existing, I think, taken at the former Olympic Park in Melbourne, right. which is where Collingwood is now, yeah. the Holden Centre, um, of one of these. And you, you can actually see a monkey on board a greyhound. And, and uh, it was moving pretty well, too, I've got to well, say. Well, the greyhound industry needs something to it really re, re, uh, sort of market, rebrand yeah. themselves. Yeah. Um, because they've been tr- accused of a lot of animal cruelty, so I think going to monkey jockeys is mm. the way to really address that. But just don't train them using live monkeys. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>